the last time I went camping, the driver's side brake caliper locked up and stayed stuck for about 10 miles. I was just limping it until I got phone reception and thankfully the brake got unstuck. So I didn't make it to the waterfall. That was a goal to make it to the waterfall. But I had to turn around and try to get cell phone reception. So if you've seen my last couple of videos, I've been talking about working overtime. Well, this is where a lot of the overtime money went. Four rotors and four calipers and brake pads, all brand new. Hopefully I make it to the falls this time. Almost at the falls, slept by the water last night. The last video you saw of me camping, it was cut short because like I said, my brakes got stuck close. So this was the goal to get up here and I didn't make it up here last time. I didn't want to talk about it because I didn't want to be negative. When that happened, I just told myself, I'm gonna work extra hours and get my brakes done and attempt it again. And it looks like, you know, knock on wood, it looks like I'm going to be successful. If you're watching this, I made it this time. But everything's going great now. Fresh brakes, fresh calipers, rotors, and brake pads. But we should almost be there. We're right by the water. Water everywhere off to the side. Officially made it to the falls. Didn't make it last time, but this time I'm here. brakes last time I went on this trip. Pulled over, smelled burning brakes, thought I just needed to let my brakes cool, kept going, then I realized my brakes were locked up. This time I made it. I'm titling this video Redemption Trip. My last camping trip, I had to cut it short because my front driver's side brake caliper locked up. Brakes were stuck for about 20 miles, 10, 20 miles. It, it was horrible. I couldn't get a uh, cell phone reception, so I was just limping it home, and then they got unstuck. So I got lucky. So that was a lesson. 20 year old van, it's time to re replace the calipers and the rotors and the pads. I just went ahead and did all of them not just the one that locked up so here's the front core charge here's the backs I'm gonna get these uh, replaced tomorrow pads new rotors right here these are the rears the fronts were already done so when you see this video hopefully I'll make it to the waterfalls this time last time I was about 30 miles away this time hopefully I make it I was having such a nice trip and my van broke down. I'll upload this after the trip so it'll be positive, positive vibes, but here's what happened and here's a suggestion to anyone buying an older vehicle. The front driver's side brake locked up. Like we were driving down this uh, mountain and I was I was I was smelling like smoking so I pulled over and I was like what's smoking maybe I'm riding the brake too much I felt like I was riding the brake too much so I'm like oh okay I'll just transmission brake more and then a couple miles later it was smoking so what happened was the caliper grabbed onto the rotor now the caliper is stuck closed so I'm limping this I'm limping this right now going like a quarter mile every five minutes so I'm just gonna limp this at least it runs but this is locked up so if you're buying an old vehicle and you intend on driving it far like me I mean even if it's not broken just give yourself peace of mind get yourself some new brakes you know, new brake calipers bleed the brake system I mean get your brake I mean this is this is one of the this is a freak accident in uh, breakdowns but it's one of those things like yeah, I got a really limp home now. How long is it going to take me to get home now? So there's a suggestion if you want to buy an old vehicle. I mean, this thing's running great. 
I've had it for four months now, no problems, but then the brakes lock up, and that abruptly ended our trip, unfortunately. First camping trip, and we we're going to do more down that area as the falls, but we're not going to make it now. The van wanted to break down way out in the middle of nowhere, so we're, I'm just limping it right now, letting it cool off, and I just got to move a few miles every freaking hour until I get home. So this is how I'm limping this thing right now. <laughs> so this battery is out, that's why it's reading zero tire pressure. And notice this is 102, that's how hot the tire is, 100. The caliper stuck is 129. So when it's beeping at 150 and the brakes are smoking, I'm just pulling over. Right now I'm just going to let it cool and hopefully, I'm hoping it just stops grabbing the caliper and it just gets unstuck somehow because there's no way we're getting a tow out here we're in the middle of nowhere so it's just a slow limp right now so I'll give it to one o'clock to cool down and hopefully we could get a few miles okay right now the brakes aren't sticking for some reason so I'm just gonna try to get as far as I can without tapping the brake if I get a hill I'm just gonna transmission brake but thankfully there's no one behind me right now at all there's no one out here right now, so my thing is stop touching the, don't touch the brake at all. The caliper looks like it got unstuck. So, you know, I'm only going 30 right now. So hopefully I could get far because it was a nightmare earlier. I was going like quarter mile at a time every five minutes. So hopefully it got unstuck right now.